Conversations, people usually consider Villapen of little value. However, conversations are subtle, quiet, powerful tools. And there are people that are really, really good at it. And there are people that are really, really, really bad at it. And in the conversation area, I'm going to conduct it half starting the communications and half with lessons. Okay. And the time now, if we just why don't we just hold the time? I think it'd be easier if we did it this way because I had to get all the stuff ready. See the clock up there? We will when it's when it's half past. When it's half past, no when it's yeah, when it's half past, we'll just, we'll just stop, okay? The, the objective of communications or in conversation, for me, is to, is to have a friend. Because after the whole thing's over, is to have someone that's a friend. And there are proper ways to start a friendship and improper ways. And it actually changes with countries. They're, people have, they don't really have this as part of the book, but people have these territories around them. And if you get too far into it, what they call your safety zone, all of a sudden you're, someone's moving back, it's very uncomfortable, doesn't want this person away from them. And in different countries, it's different distances. Some countries, especially the uh, romantic countries, have a, have a closer area. And the Germanic countries have a, have a further distance. So, it's, so we as humans have all these different parameters based on things that no one ever wrote down. You don't see a diagram saying 3.45 you know, <laughs> inches for you know, for, for Argentinians and, you know, 6.7 inches for Brazilian. <laughs> they've never, they've never done that. However, we have rules. We have rules. And in conversation, it's, it's very, very similar. And I was reading, you know, when I read here, I looked at it and I said, how do I blow it? And the, and the first thing when you start a conversation, they say, small talk. And it's just saying hi and seeing if you feel good with the person. Now they say small talk, talk about the weather. They talk about things that are indifferent to both. However, you get feelings about people as you break these, and you say, I think I'm going to go to a different part of the room or let's just get this one over quick. Or you say, oh wow, I like to get more into this conversation. This, this, is, this, is, this person seems interesting. So you say, okay, let me go to the next step. Now the next step, they say, is fact disclosures. In other words, you talk about non-aggressive acts. Where do you live? You live here? Oh, you work in the area? Where? How do you like work? Okay, that gets a little in the next one, but uh, but it's more personal. Do you drive to work? Do you take the bus to work? All these different statements, just sort of facts that you that you sort of pick up. That things that you, as they start the conversation, do you you don't necessarily want to have yes no's. Do you drive to work? Yes. <laughs> Uh, do you, you know, do you have lunch every day? Uh, uh, you have to have, look for more open-end questions on these facts disclosures. More in that you can carry the conversation to the next point than being nosy. Of course my wife always tells me, I just like to be nosy. <laughs> nosy. <laughs> <laughs> Women do that, you know, she said. <laughs> Because I'll get on a conversation and, uh, and, and, and like my, my daughter will tell, us, tell me some stuff. I say, okay, I'm happy. 
And I'll get off the phone and my wife will come to me and say, well, is she doing this? Is she doing that? Is she... She's fine. <laughs> Everyone's healthy. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> so I missed three quarters of her conversation with her daughter. But I picked up all the conversation I was, you know, that I was into. And males have a tendency to not do that. That's, but that's not valid because you just have sort of a skewed curve that men have a tendency because there are men that are much greater conversationalists and they want more information and they're really cool. So don't depend on the rules so that you can get away with things for the men. And don't depend on the rules for the ladies that you can't have a short conversation. Okay? That you have to be nosy. She calls it nosy. She, I, I call it, you know. No, she calls No, it's me that calls it nosy. It's she that calls it. I just like more information. Well, once you get by the fact area, then they go into views and opinions. You get more into you know, the private feelings of people, not personal feelings, but more like political, okay? Like Mike's conservative, okay? Right? Oh, you're liberal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the conservative in the area? Who was the, I don't know what's conservative. I think you. What? <laughs> oh, I, oh I'm, I'm, no, I'm sort of, I, I, my wife is very conservative. I'm, way down the road from her. Okay. So, but you get to know more of their political views and, or, or what are some of the other non-touchables? Sex, politics, religion. Religion. Okay, you might discuss religion. But it gets it more in a, in a personal area, okay? Of what your, what your religious views are how you feel about the world, how you feel about all the things happening in the world, how you look at our involvement in Iraq, Iran. Those are the, those, I'm just showing they're just examples. That's the next level. However, you've taken these steps comfortably. And then the last one, if, you, if, it, if, you're, if, if your relationship gets stronger, is to personal things. Okay, ah, having trouble with my husband. You know, or having trouble with my wife, or but those are way down the line. And skipping steps is skips friends a lot of times. If you skip steps when you're going in and you're just you're looking, and you bring in your personal divorce on step one. It's sort of like it's a walk away. You just lost any potential for that person being a friend normally. Now everything's, everything's on a, you know, bell-shaped curve. So if you got to someone that was in a divorce at the same time, you, 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 could, you, could, you could hit and, and it would go great, but it's, it's random chance. If you're working at developing the skill of conversation, you do this, and now one of the master skills, the super master skills, is what? Listening. Yes. Listening. Listening is a super master skill. I have sat there quietly, and I haven't said, I said, oh, is that right? Mm, geez. Oh, interesting. Oh. One word with enthusiasm showing. And I heard people walk away and walk in. Oh, Roland's such a good conversationalist. <laughs> 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 so, one of the super dynamic, powerful spots of a good conversationalist is just to sit and listen. And in a relationship, it's to sit and listen. Especially to men. Men problem solvers really have problems normally. As women normally don't want their problems solved, they just want them listened to. Okay? So, 
listening as part of all the conversation for me ranks about three times higher than any of the other parts. To go in and just listen and actually pay attention because everyone, every one of us is totally unique. Okay. God didn't run an assembly line if you're and if you're Muslim, Allah didn't run the assembly line. And if you're Hindu, I forget the gods of Hindu, didn't run an assembly line. They all ran a unique creation process. And all of us have fun and interesting things to listen to. Now sometimes the quantity... <laughs> but then you find out who you want to, you know, not on a conversation, which ones skip the steps and which ones you want to avoid. Now, I've got a few minutes here. So what I want to do is, Luke and I know each other fairly well. Okay. So we've, we've actually skipped or worked through small talk. And we've worked through fact disclosure. Like he's, you know, you've looked at some of my websites and I pretty much put on what you see. There's not much hidden. And you know, I, I I know your base personality and you know and your gregarious niceness, but I know I have nothing on your political positions. I we've never went to the next step. No, I mean, yeah, you have you have a tendency. Do you like the current president? Oh, okay. Would you rather have a Would you rather have a Republican? Not necessarily. Okay, so you start writing the book. See, see, it gave me, if you just listen to that conversation, he said not necessarily, which says to me what? It says, he's not a Democrat, he's probably not a Republican. He's one of the ones that sort of float in the middle. That if you really see a better answer, it doesn't matter what party, I got that right from that. Am I close? Yeah, I, okay. I'm, I'm a Democrat. But yeah, but, but if, you, if you really, if it's a really sucky Democrat, you... You know, you see, you're top of the line, you know. If we had a Democratic president like George Bush, then I would... Or a Democrat, yeah, okay. Or, you know, but if we had a Republican like Abraham Lincoln... That's right. You I mean, you know, it, it all, it all That's depends. Right. You it's, can't just put a stake in the ground and thank say... Thank you. But there are people that put stakes in the ground. And, you, and, and when you do that, you look in the stake in the ground and you want to know... And you look at the conversation and you want to say, is this person an arguer and likes to argue? And maybe, and I do too. And then you can proceed. If, you, if you're one of those people uh, that says, uh, you, know, you know, arguing politics is boring. Discussing politics is fun. Everyone knows the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Between a discussion and argument. What's the difference? You listen and <laughs> the other one you don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's it, it's it's like a debate. An argument's like a debate. Mm -hmm. Both sides take a position, and w and usually they don't have a party that 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 tells which one won. That's what that's what. But a discussion is you're both trying to go towards a, a knowledge base that ex that you both expand upon. So, so that's that's normally how I look at discussions or arguments. Yeah, I think I always think of arguments and debates, but debate without a judge. It's like there is no judge. You will not. There will when you walk away from each other, nothing happens except loudness. Yeah, is there an absolute truth in one party versus the other? No, you both could be absolutely right. They're just talking about different subjects. They could talk about this aspect of this person and the reason they wouldn't vote for it, and the other one said, Oh well, I'll vote for this one. And they show all the things in this, they never, never touch. And you can always look at things different view. That's why, you, that's why they have debates in school. They get, they get a subject, and, they, everyone, and, and, two, and two parties go after that subject, presented and, and, and pictured from different directions. Okay? And a lot of times, you, you know, they, they throw away a moral book, and, but, you know, it's indifferent in the, in the argument. What it is is about it's, a, it's about getting a judge to say that you won. Okay. So, 
but that's personal. Now, when you're getting in, again, just let me get this one more time. When you get in and you want to be a great conversationalist, the best way is to listen. Let's hear it. The best way is to listen. listen. Thank you.